do you just move forward now? Is that, the, is that your main thing? Yeah, that's why I had to go back to dailies. Because I left dailies because I thought I had enough of dailies. So I did yeah. seven years on three news, ten years on Campbell Live, and two and a half years on Chip. And I thought, well, I'm exhausted by dailies. But actually not doing dailies is more exhausting for me. I just have to work. How are you with silence? Uh, not great. Yeah. Is that why something that you worry about, finding those silent moments? Or when they come upon you, you just... No. I don't, you know, what did Socrates say? The unexamined life is not worth living. Yeah. I find introspection doesn't serve me very well. Interesting. Yeah, so I just, so I really, this is not me trying to avoid the question or whatever. Yeah. It's just this is a really honest response. As long as I keep working, I'm fine. Right. As long as I, so as long as I can lose myself in the job and do the job as well as I can, and then I can do it again tomorrow and again the next day and again the next day, I'll be fine. It's when I stop that I'll worry about myself. With that in mind, can I ask about when you've left jobs? Yeah. Well, uh, well I, I, I hardly ever leave jobs. Well, that's I was at TV3 for 24 years, yeah. and then the job left me. What happens then? It was terrible. It was terrible. Is that, how, and how's that with your, with your mental health when, when that kind of thing happens? Because that's a different sort of trauma. That's... Yeah, it is. I think I was just tired. I, think, I, I mean, I, I, for all sorts of reasons, cause I, cause mm. I, because um, well, one of the problems with... See, I'd love to talk to you about that, but mm. the problem is then you suddenly read it getting written up somewhere, you know, so you do... And I just don't, you know... I understand that. So, so it was tough. It was really tough. My family bought me a dog to keep me company. Yeah. Mm, I've become very fond of the dog. I wasn't initially. I slightly resented his presence. I have to change my metaphor. You're yeah, the John yeah, Wick of yeah, New Zealand politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. So I became fond of the dog, but I wasn't at first. Mm. And then and I, and the, I realised after only a couple of months that the only response was to get back to work. Right. I thought I'd have a break, but I need to get back to work. So I went to RNZ. And then I was at RNZ for a couple of years, and now I'm at TVNZ. But then at TVNZ, I was a roving reporter, but man, there wasn't enough roving and reporting. <laughs> well, I mean, it is, so, yeah. respectfully, it is yeah. New Zealand. One yeah. can only rove and yeah, report. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. So I thought, right, I'm just going to go back to dailies. Right. What about the weather? Could you, do, could you be a weatherman? No. Doesn't the weather? The weather is what it is. The weather is. What you know, it I mean, is. sometimes it's terribly unfair, but there's no yeah. terrible human injustice in weather. Is the weather doesn't weather yeah. doesn't punish people because of their ethnicity or the socio economic yeah. position? The weather doesn't, you know, r- r- confirm privilege or yeah. You can't shine a light no, on the weather. No, no you can't. Yeah. How dare you, should I, Mister Sutherland? <laughs>